hey cancer collective what's up y'all welcome to the channel welcome back if you've been here before thank you so much for joining me or joining me again i hope y'all are doing amazing let's take a look at the week ahead for the cancer collective take what resonates leave what doesn't flip the rolls if you need to it could be past present future energy or someone else around you i am picking up on okay well we got two new cards because nobody else was getting new cards everything was repeating bottom of the deck we have the divine you got um pretty much all new cards except karma came out for someone else the divine is sending you love and support better days are coming Ooh, you got jesus showing up in your reading okay some of you are christian so spirit wants you to know that you are loved you are supported and to keep holding on okay because better days are coming I love it. Your first card is number 57. Someone could be 57. Aging well. Aging is not a disease. We should be able to grow old and be healthy. Okay. We have compassion. Number 49. No one is perfect. So give yourself a break. Some of y'all look good for your age. You might be being hard on yourself though. Maybe you're not giving yourself enough credit for how good you look. We have karma number 50. For every action, there is a reaction. Every thought, word, or action has consequences. Someone could be 50 years old. Some of y'all are in y'all 40s and 50s. For sure. Somebody could be 49 about to turn 50. Okay, because we got 49 and 50. Let's see what's going on here. What is aging well? Two of pentacles. You're still fun. You're still nimble. Look at how that person jumping on that card. This is adaptable, flexible. Some of y'all still flexible. You can still do the splits. <laughs> you know what I mean? You still know how to have fun. You still know how, to, you know how to be mature, but you still know how to have that young at heart energy about yourself. Capricorn energy. We have the page of swords here. I feel like there could be certain things, though, that you think about now before you do them whereas before maybe you didn't leave Aquarius Gemini energy like you're you're conscientious is what I'm hearing you're more strategic now you know your limits with things what's going on with this two of pentacles and page of swords the ace of swords yeah situational awareness you have awareness now about certain things some of you you're wise the older you get which is the way it's supposed to go but there are some people who are called called olders they're not elders because they're not wise you are actually aging well. So you're learning the lessons you're supposed to learn. You're age appropriate in your behavior, but you still know how to have fun and not be uptight. Show me compassion. No one is perfect. Give yourself a break. We have the Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Gemini energy is here. <clears throat> you could be overthinking, doubting yourself. Okay, I feel like right now is the time for you um, to identify the weak links around you and get them up out of here. Okay, you have good news in your finances. New car, new home. You got two aces here, so it's almost like something. We're at the start of a new year. There's a, a lot of new beginnings for a lot of us, right? I feel like you've made up your mind. You have clarity about what it is you want to do. And it could be, I feel like you could be cutting somebody off. You feel like your guards might be up against someone here. I just heard they play too much. Somebody could play too much. And you're tired of them. Some of you, this is somebody at work that you don't really care for. This could even be a group of people at work. What's this three of pentacles? The four of wands. Yeah, there's a group. There's, this talks about a community. There's a... They could be a community like conspiring against you or judging you for something and trying to, you know, cast this cast dispersion on you. Ace of Pentacles. I just heard you're chosen. You're chosen for, for this blessing from God being handed right to you on a silver platter. Make sure that you're not in like a victim mentality, like you don't feel powerless and helpless and all of that, even though you might feel like that. Your hands could be tied. It could have something to do with your finances or your job, but there's some kind of breakthrough coming here with the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. What's karma? Five of Wands. See, you're in a hostile environment. There are people jealous of you, competing with you. There's a group. This is a click. I don't get teamwork from this. This is giving me click. 
And it's like they don't want you a part of their clique. Or there's a community here. Some of you also have a twin flame coming in. A new home I'm seeing. Some of y'all are really about to put money into a new home with this Ace of Pentacles going into the Four of Wands. But yeah, it's like you feel like you might be in a work environment or some kind of situation where there's this group. There's like three people, maybe four people, maybe five people that you don't get along with. We have the Two of Cups. Look at this partnership teaming up. The Seven of Wands. Birds of a feather flock together here. Look at how protected you are. You're blocking whatever this is. You're definitely standing your ground against these crazy people. There's two main culprits, though. Could be a Cancer involved, a Leo. What else? With the Justice card. Look at that. Karma. Clarifying karma. Everything they're trying to do to you is being returned right back to sender. What's the Divine? The Death card. This is almost over with the Hierophant. You've been doing the right thing here. You've been playing by the rules and spirit sees that with the Knight of Pentacles. Something feels like it's been moving slow, but it's coming. But look at this betrayal. Look at how you're walking away from this betrayal. I feel like it still hurts. There could be a Gemini or Pisces in your energy, a Virgo, a Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, Leo, Cancer, Aries. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, I already said that. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. That's what I see here. So this group that got together to conspire against you. Are getting karma. Somebody could actually be going to jail. They could be on defense here. They need to get a defense attorney because they're going to jail for something or going to court for something. I don't necessarily. Well, I do see jail because we have the eight of swords here. But what are these people doing? I want to see. I'm nosy. So what, what are they doing to cancer? Like, what are these people that have come against you? This I told y'all a couple weeks ago last week that there was a group of three people. They were coming against you. They're still here. Who are these people? What do they want? This group is still at it. Trying to take you down. That's going to be the title of your reading. This group is still at it. Trying to take you down. Seven of Pentacles. Some of you, this is at work. Something about seven years could be significant. Could involve a Taurus. Or you can have Taurus placements. They hate the way your money is growing with the King of Swords. Do you have favoritism at work? Not favoritism, but favor. Like if someone favoring you at work, maybe for a promotion or something like that. Some of y'all so unbothered, so nonchalant, so sarcastic. Like, I don't give a damn about y'all liking me. Page of Pentacles. You're focused on your money. You're ambitious. Six of Pentacles. If you're in court for something, you're about to win. They're jealous of your drive, your motivation, your ambition. Even with this page of swords, how intelligent you are. This page of swords talks about avoiding conflict, like not being easily baited, being very strategic, thinking on your feet, problem solving, attention to detail, and thinking before you act. There's a group here trying to, excuse me, um, collaborate to take you down. They're still at it and it ain't going to work. Look at them defeated. <laughs> Aquarius energy. Look at them sad. This is what I'm talking about. Scorpio energy. Look at this. It's an uphill battle and you still overcome Sagittarius energy with the moon and the six of swords and they don't know how you did it, but how you did it is your spirit guides are right there protecting you. Pisces and Aquarius energy. Wow. Something could be happening between Aquarius and Pisces season. A new job I see for y'all. Y'all being moved out of the way of this madness, whatever this madness is. So whoever this, this group is, this, this community of people, they're still at it and it still ain't working. All right, y'all. The divine says they're sending you love and support and know that better days are coming. I'm seeing a new job for y'all. I see y'all being moved either out of the department that you're working with these people, the environment that you exist in with these people. You're moving up, okay, to bigger and better opportunities and things. But let's get a um, chakra card for you. Some of y'all look good for your age. <laughs> Maybe you trusted these people and you're mad at yourself with compassion being here. We have crown chakra bliss. Yes. The seventh chakra. I seek and find peace, quietness, and moments of bliss in my life. I am persistent in this quest. I allow myself to feel divine presence radiating within and around me. The divine is with you. I allow myself to create abundance and fulfillment and to live a life free of fear. Meditation is a part of my life. Okay, y'all. 
there you go this group this little group is still at it they ain't going away all right like subscribe hit the notification bell have a good week i'll see you on the next time peace